Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm here to talk to you about my reaction to the Booktube SFF shortlist. I'm a little early with this video, really. Um, the Booktube Babble schedule uh, has us uh, reacting to, to the shortlist in a couple of weeks. Uh, Booktube Babbles is a great way that uh, the judges of the Booktube SFF Awards are having us uh, stay involved in the prize as we read and uh, judge the shortlist. But uh, I figured I wanted to get my thoughts out about the shortlist before I uh, started reading. Uh, and also, I'm not the only one to have done this. I'll link to some other uh, reaction videos down below. I spoke in my last uh, Booktube SFF Awards uh, video where I nominated uh, for the prize that I wasn't sure that I would uh, read um, from everything because um, I'm also a judge for the Booktube prize uh, and I have personal projects as well as I, that I want to get through in the next couple of months. But I am excited to say that everything I nominated made it onto the shortlist. I am in with the in crowd and this is not usually the case because I tend to read a lot of uh, less popular uh, new releases and so forth, but this year, <laughs> not so much, I guess. Or into the so I thought I'd go through the shortlist and give my thoughts on all of the books I haven't uh, read. Uh, I'm not going to talk about middle grade because I don't really read middle grade, and I uh, figure I don't have much to say there. Uh, but starting with young adult, uh, I've decided I'm not going to uh, read from uh, the shortlist this year for this because uh, I'd have too many books that I'd have to read. Uh, already there's a four-way tie for this and I've only uh, read The Wicked King by Holly Black. Uh, and then uh, we have Starsight by Brandon Sanderson, but I haven't read the first book yet, so I'd have to read that as well. And uh, The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Choksi, uh, I have to say it's about a heist, right? And that's not really my uh, thing anyway. <laughs> Although I do want to get to Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. It is uh, on my uh, list for audiobooks from the library. I have decided I want to read the shortlist for fantasy this year. Uh, I've already read and adored uh, The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. And then the other two books, uh, Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvio Moreno Garcia and uh, The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern are also on the Booktube prize list, so, you know, I figure that's even more incentive to read them. Even The Starless Sea, uh, I did not really like The Night Circus, but uh, I think I like the summary of what this uh, second book uh, is about a little bit more. Hopefully, I'm grasping at straws here. I imagine it'll be written in the exact same style, so <laughs> I have an uphill battle, but I want to give it a fair shake as much as I can. And then Gods of Jade and Shadow, I know it's been much beloved. Everyone I've heard talk about it has uh, sung its praises, and it's about uh, Mexican folklore and, and that sort of thing, which is uh, a difference, something that I haven't read much of before. So I'm excited uh, to see how I like it. And then we get to the science fiction slash debut novels category. I'm uh, putting them together because uh, there's uh, two repeats uh, for both of these lists. A Memory Called Empire by Arkady Martin, which I've already read, and then Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, which, frankly, I gotta say, uh, I was surprised to see this on a science fiction list, since it has to do with uh, necromancy, I believe, and uh, frankly, it doesn't really uh, interest me that much. Uh, then there's Recursion by Blake Crouch, which I do think would interest me, but I just don't know if I want to do this. I just don't know if I'm that interested in uh, Gideon the Ninth, uh, although I am interested in the uh, next, uh, the third debut uh, novel one, which is uh, 10,000 Doors of January, the portal fantasy stuff. Uh, I, I think that that could be interesting, but I don't know how much it's really calling to me. So I wasn't really sure what to do if I should read for uh, these three categories, fantasy, science fiction, and uh, debut novel. But then I realized the short work category is pretty science fiction heavy, and it's more in line with my interests in science fiction. Uh, we have To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers, which I've already read and loved. Uh, the Test by Sylvain Nouvelle seems kind of dystopian. I like dystopia stuff. 
And this is How You Lose the Time War by Max Gladstone and Amal El Mortar, I'm hoping I'm saying that right, uh, which uh, has to do with the timey whiny stuff that uh, I think is also part of uh, Recursion by Blake Crouch. <laughs> I'm sure I'm using the correct technical uh, science fiction term. <laughs> but if I do want to, you know, scratch that timey whiny itch, maybe I can do it with This is How to uh, Lose the Time War instead. <laughs> And of course, I have to say that uh, in trying to squeeze in as much reading as possible, of course, uh, there's that benefit of the short works that they're shorter. <laughs> so to recap, I have officially decided to uh, read from two of the shortlist categories, and uh, that'll be a total of four new books for me. We have The Test by Sylvain Nouvelle. This is How You Lose the Time War by Max Gladstone and Amal El Maltar. Gods of Jade and Shadow by Sylvia Moreno-Garcia, and The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. So that about covers it for me now. I'll leave links to uh, the Goodreads pages for these books and information about the BookTube SFF Awards down below. I am indeed a part of the Discord group that was started up this year where people are starting to talk about uh, what they're reading and what they're thinking about it. It seems like it's uh, more informal than I, I thought it might be, which uh, might be a relief because then I can uh, pick and choose what I want to read when, so long as I get them all done by April. This is my first year taking part in the BookTube SFF Awards beyond the nomination phase, and I'm really excited to dip my toe in a little bit more and uh, to have the excuse to try out uh, new science fiction and fantasy, especially in topics that uh, might challenge me and expand my worldview a little bit. Even if I am staying away from necromancy, hey, at least I'm giving Aaron Morgenstern another chance. So I hope all your reading and your judging goes well for you these next couple months if you're taking part in the BookTube SFF Awards. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.